Hey, I basically don't know shit about working out with kettlebells, but check this thing out. You don't have to know what you're doing to look cool. These things are cool. These are uh, made by a sculptor. And I'm going to put a link below the video where you can check them out. I'll tell you, I could show you where I got this thing from. And they have some other ones like these that are primate faces like chimpanzees, gorillas, orangutan. Uh, they even got a Bigfoot Sasquatch one and some other ones. Uh, they had, they used to have the Star Wars ones. I don't have, like, I... They are going to think my form is terrible. But these are 3D sculptures, man. They're like, they're actually made by an artist who's a sculptor. And I imagine that he met, he sculpts with clay. Because I used to model for art classes. And I they would work with clay, right? And I model for some, in private, for some artists. This one sculptor guy. And uh, it's pretty cool to see these people work, you know. It's amazing. So anyway, this, so they get, yeah, the way they would do something like this was, you know, sculpt it in clay and then, you know, got to refine it and make it look how you want and make sure it's balanced. These are perfectly balanced, symmetrical. And um, the only thing you got to look out for, like some of the things, if you have it the wrong way, this is going to hurt your arm. <laughs> you know, like it's going to bite into your forearm right if you do that kind of shit like I don't know how to <clears throat> yeah so something like that <sighs> make sure you have it you're holding it the correct way like I said my form I don't know shit about really working with kettlebells but I've watched some videos on YouTube I got a YouTube level education and I was watching this guy Pat McNamara my webcam is not set up to do this really, but um, Pat McNamara, he's like this ex-Army Ranger guy, Special Forces, Delta Force. He was doing some things like some figure eights with kettlebells, but also with uh, what uh, cinder blocks, concrete cinder blocks, you know, they used to build buildings with. Do figure eights like that, and I know one of the things is I ain't no kettlebell expert, so I don't know how far you're supposed to go down and squat and all that shit. But I basically like to play with it, usually at the towards the end of my workout when I feel like I need to put some little extra spice in it. I snatched this little baby up. This is a howling monkey. And uh, I'll put the link down. Like I said, you can look at the other ones. The chimpanzee is cool. That one on this one only weighs 18 pounds. Uh, it's 0.5 pood or pulled, however they say it. That's the Russian system, I reckon. But the, the next one. Oh, they got a lighter, a smaller one. For little people, I'm kind of little myself, but for smaller stature people, or, you know, different applications. You might not always want to work out with a super heavy weight. This was 18 pounds. They got one that's like 12 pounds or something that's um, a harpy, I think. So that's one of the mythological creatures. They have, um, like, the legend bells, like the cyclops, the sasquatch. Um... And they did have, at one time they had the Star Wars, like Darth Vader and stuff. But I, I don't know, I'll have to check. You can check, see. Check, click, we'll take you to the, the link below will take you to the website where the kettlebells are. Where the kettlebells live. Man, I just have so much fun with this thing. It, it, gives, it fires me up just to like pick it up. I'm like, yeah! I got to get the bigger ones though. I want to get the next one. I want to get the chimpanzee. That one weighs 36 pounds, however many poods that is. So this is 18, 36, that'd be one pood, or one pulled, or however you say it. Anyway, yeah, all right. Savage Health Systems, get your thumb.